Over 17 million people die every year from cardiovascular disease. It is the leading cause of death around the world. Nearly one out of every three people will die from this disease. The amount of people who die from cardiovascular disease is the equivalent of four jumbo jets crashing every single hour, every single day, every single year. The problem with the animal-based diet, its contribution to heart disease is huge and it is pervasive. The food you eat determines the bacteria that live in your gut. While you eat animal flesh every day, you are summoning up bacteria that eat carnitine. And those bacteria will turn that carnitine into a molecule called trimethylamine. Your liver then turns that into trimethylamine oxide. That's a molecule from hell. That molecule drives cholesterol into the artery walls. And the people who are consuming this flesh-based diet are contributing to plaque building up. They may lose weight on this diet, and that's good. But what's happening inside your arteries, paleo friends? What's happening is that plaque is building up, and these are the folks who drop down at the gym at 39. Boy, he was lean and he looked really good. But where is that cholesterol going? It's going into your artery walls. So I believe these paleo folks are setting themselves up for an epidemic of clogged arteries, colon cancers, uh, autoimmune diseases. Uh, this is not a healthy diet. We are not carnivorous. The source in America of cholesterol is chicken because of the volume of chicken. You know, chickens become grilled chicken and organic chicken. It's, it's machismo, but it has nearly as much cholesterol program as red beef. So just on sheer volume, it's the number one source. Yeah, eggs being close behind. I never really thought about eggs much. I just thought of them as a standard part of a healthy diet. But then I found a study suggesting that eating just one egg a day can be as bad as smoking five cigarettes per day for life expectancy. The yolk of a hen's egg is the most concentrated glom of saturated fat and cholesterol. It is made to run a baby chicken for 21 days with no outside energy. It is pure fat and cholesterol. And when we put that into our bloodstream, it coats our red blood cells. Our blood gets thicker and more viscous. It changes our hormone levels. It raises our cholesterol levels. There's nothing healthy about eating the yolk of the egg. When we eat these kind of dead meat bacteria toxins, within minutes, you get this burst of inflammation within your system such that you basically paralyze your arteries. You get this stiffening of the arteries, their inability to relax normally in half. So it's not like decades down the road eating unhealthy, there'll be some damage. No, we're talking damage right then and there within minutes of it going into our mouth. In a groundbreaking study published by Dr. Esselstyn, following patients suffering from cardiovascular disease, 99.4% were able to avoid major cardiac events by going plant-based. Because it's not just heart disease. It's hypertension, it's diabetes, it's strokes, it's heart attacks, it's several of the autoimmune diseases, lupus, uh, asthma, GERD, osteoporosis. I mean, there's a multitude of diseases, even rheumatoid arthritis. It can be so dramatic when you see these poor souls with just absolutely crippled with rheumatoid arthritis go plant-based, then they come off, come off their medication. The data is crystal clear that you can stop and reverse heart disease with plant-based diets. Uh, scientifically shown, I've seen it in my own patients. People who adopt low-fat plant-based diets can actually reverse their heart disease, and that literally means watching the plaque start to go away, something they didn't think could happen. My experience with patients is, and the studies show, that when people adopt a fully plant-based diet, their cholesterol levels plummet within a few days. And if you do blood tests in a couple of weeks, you'll see dramatic improvements. Yes, your numbers are going to look great within a week or two. Your cholesterol can come crashing down. In fact, if you're on medications, your doctor may have to pull off your blood pressure medication so your blood pressure don't drop too low because it can work too good. Like that, the side effect is not having to take drugs.